Hi, welcome to this video. I'm going to talk with you about a few things I've learned in the past week, and they relate to previous videos that we've done. So um, if you're not familiar with those previous videos, I'm going to include the links in the description for this one. And I know you're going to get a lot of information from this content and what I've been learning in the last week. All right, so some things going on this week that really uh, were impactful and I thought you guys would benefit from, and a lot of them actually related to previous episodes or previous videos. So a couple of things real quick I'm going to share with you uh, from the week. All right, number one, back in episode, what was it? Episode 46, I talked about the CDC moratorium and the, the uh, blocking evictions through the first of the year and all of our private market rentals that was not an issue at all but seemingly as soon as i recorded that episode we got a notification that two of our section 8 residents their assistance had been terminated for paperwork issues and i'm not going to get into the whole how is it that our government can block evictions but won't block terminating assistance to Section 8 residents because uh, I don't want to have to get out heartburn medicine. But with those two residents, um, one, we talked to them. They obviously still need a place to live, and they're paying their rent. Um, they're going to start first of the month. It won't be an issue. We verified their income. Number two, the other one, we... Uh, reinforced what the lease says and what the move out process is and that if they want their um, deposit processed and refunded after any expenses or damages, then we needed to uh, schedule their move out with them and receiving their keys. And just that little bit of prompting, they moved out return keys. So everything is going along as it's supposed to, or everything's going along as normal so it's just further encouragement that you know it's strange times odd things are happening and the the benefit is that people are still people most people either want to do the right thing or will do what you reward them for so maybe tenant doesn't want to move out right away but when given that opportunity to get some deposit back and notified of the process, they will. So continue on with your business as normal, no matter what the news says or uh, what odd things are happening this day, this week. All right, number two, back in episode 47, I talked about taxes. I heard from a lot of you after uh, that episode. I really appreciate hearing from you definitely. Uh, send me your comments or questions or really how you feel about anything. Um, you can send that to me at chad at truewealthinvestors.com. So interestingly, in that video and episode, we talked about three major tax benefits for business owners, real estate investors. Just three. There are many, but we just talked about three. Those three were pre-tax expenses depreciation, and cash out refinance money. And interestingly, just in normal conversations with other investors and business owners over the last week, all of those benefits came up in normal conversation. So just as encouragement to you, do not think that these are three rare tax benefits these are three common tax benefits used by investors and business owners all the time. If you are not using them, if you aren't benefiting from those three, then start looking at your business, trying to figure out maybe how you can benefit from them because I would recommend that you do. You should. Additionally, uh, one person asked for additional examples of pre-tax expenses and why that's beneficial to a business owner as opposed to someone with a standard W-2 job. A couple quick examples. Let's say one would be computers, office equipment. 
we all need a computer, a home office. It's hard to operate without a computer these days. So if you are a business owner, you're going to bring in your profits, then you're gonna buy that computer as an expense, and then figure your taxes after that computer or office equipment expenditure. So you will pay less taxes, you will show less profit. As opposed to an employee, they will earn their W-2 income, have their taxes figured, and then the money that they receive after that, they will go buy their computer. So that's one difference. And a huge one, I'm surprised I didn't go into this one in the episode, was travel. So this winter, I'm going to go on a business trip to the Caribbean with my wife. And for part of the day, on each weekday, we'll be hanging out with other real estate investors, talking real estate investing, and listening to speakers talk about real estate investing. And because of that, that is a business trip. And so we are going to bring in all of our income, then we're going to spend the money for this trip, and after that, we will figure our taxes. Much different than if I only had a W-2 uh, job, then I would get my income, figure taxes, and then take that money I have left over and go to the crib. Big difference. I am glad that the IRS would rewards us for doing what they want. So they want the citizens of this country to start businesses, to invest in real estate, and I am grateful they reward us for doing that. I don't make the rules, I just play by the rules. If you feel like you're not benefiting from the rules, maybe change how you're playing the game and rethink uh, how you run your business or invest or are financially abiding by the rules. All right, um, and thirdly, okay, thirdly, this week I met with one of my uh, private lenders. They have lent money to me before, and during the discussion, we were talking about, you know, different investment opportunities, different options for them. If you've heard me talk about uh, my view on speaking with private lenders, you know that my perspective is always, how can I serve them? I want to know their goals for investing. And if my business can offer them an investment that fits their goals, that's great. If their goals don't fit my business, then I'm not going to try to sell them on this or anything. I'm going to serve them any way I can, help them re with resources if my business is not the best way to serve their goals. So we were talking and uh, the lender was explaining to me how they had spoken with their financial advisor and the financial advisor recommended not having cash at this time, but putting that cash into a secure investment like a CD. Now think about that. Current rates for CDs are less than 1%. So obviously this was a no brainer uh, for this lender, they in, invested with us one year, 7%, no payments. They'll get all of their money and interest back in, at the end of the year. And they get 7% secured by real estate instead of less than 1% as their financial advisor, that financial expert recommended. So further, uh, just encouragement to you, when you are talking to private lenders, you are not comparing the return on their investment to the stock market. The stock market is highly volatile. They can lose the money that they put in. Um, there are a bunch of things that influence that stock market. Their investment, when they lend to you, just like a bank, is a fixed rate of return secured by real estate. Real estate is not volatile and their return is fixed. It's a much different thing. The comparison is closer to a CD or some type of fixed return investment. All right. 
So I just thought that would be encouraging to you. If you're not sure which episode it was, I talked about private money, then that's probably because I talk about private money on a whole bunch of episodes. So go ahead and look back. Um, you'll find, I talked about it, episode two, three, early on, midway, later, the, there's private money in a whole bunch of episodes. So I uh, appreciate you listening. I hope those lessons from my week helped you, help you in your week or weeks ahead. And uh, I hope they encourage you to keep fighting, keep working, keep pushing to build your dream life one door at a time. Hey, I appreciate you watching. If this channel is benefiting you, make sure you subscribe. If you like this video, go ahead and like it. Leave us a comment. Let us know how we're doing, what's impacting you. Thanks.